Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi. Uh, today we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is nitrogen and its compounds. Uh, basically, today we are discussing the properties of nitrogen 2 oxide. Nitrogen 2 oxide is one of the oxides of nitrogen and uh, during the previous lesson we saw its preparation from the action of dilute nitric 5 acid on copper tannings. So today we'll continue from there. <coughs> so we start by looking at the physical properties of nitrogen 2 oxide. And uh, nitrogen 2 oxide 1 is a colorless gas, colorless and odorless gas. The gas is slightly soluble in water. Hence, collected over water. Uh, nitrogen 2 oxide is less dense than air, or you can say it's slightly less dense than air. and also is neutral to litmus papers. Uh, in terms of the chemical properties, in terms of the chemical uh, properties, uh, you find that uh, The gas supports combustion of heated metals. It supports combustion of heated metals. And this is because it decomposes on heating. It decomposes on heating to produce oxygen and nitrogen. The oxygen released is now the one that oxidizes the metals. So the oxygen released is the one that supports combustion. So you can have uh, an example of magnesium that is burning and then it's passed through nitrogen 2 oxide so magnesium decomposes magne uh, nitrogen 2 oxide to nitrogen and oxygen. So the oxygen oxidizes the magnesium to magnesium oxide. So that is the reaction. So the magnesium continues burning in the oxygen that is produced while the nitrogen is uh, reduced as nitrogen gas. So to balance, put a two there, two there. <clears throat> so we can also say that nitrogen two oxide 
also supports combustion of heated nonmetals nonmetals for instance uh, phosphorus plus nitrogen 2 oxide the phosphorus is oxidized to phosphorus 5 oxide and nitrogen gas balance the phosphorus the oxygen they are 10 and then the nitrogen are 5 so this is where there is excess of nitrogen uh, two oxide number three nitrogen two oxide is easily oxidized by atmospheric oxygen to form red brown fumes of nitrogen four oxide so basically we say that uh, the reason why even when you are preparing the nitrogen two oxide we don't collect the first gas jar because already it's contaminated with nitrogen four oxide so nitrogen two oxide is easily oxidized to nitrogen four oxide the moment you just expose it to the air it's a colorless gas but once it's exposed to the air it turns red brown because of the formation of nitrogen four oxide so easily oxidized by the atmospheric oxygen to form red brown fumes of nitrogen four oxide as we can see from the equation nitrogen 2 oxide plus oxygen in the air we get nitrogen 4 which is red brown and this is colorless to balance 2 2 and this equation uh, this forms the basis of identification of nitrogen to oxide that the moment it is exposed to the air it turns red brown yet it's a colorless gas and that is because it is immediately oxidized to nitrogen four oxide <coughs> in fact it's for the same reason that uh, uh, it's uh, rare to find nitrogen 2 oxide because we are saying that the moment it's just slightly exposed to the air it becomes oxidized to the more stable nitrogen 4 oxide our assignment so the first question state two chemical properties of nitrogen two oxide number two nitrogen two oxide is a very unstable gas explain this by use of an equation explain this by use of an equation why is this gas very unstable so we are going to stop there until next time goodbye <music>